Hi Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 28th through December the 4th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aries for November the 28th through December the 4th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aries for November the 28th through December the 4th, 2021. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aries for November the 28th through December the 4th, 2021. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aries, your partner has the Six of Cups. Your partner has the Nine of Cups. Your partner has the Hierophants. Your partner has the Two of Wands. And your partner has the Ten of Cups. Oh boy. So, Aries. Your partner has the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So, Aries, listen, you know, yes... You guys can be from each other's past. They could be speaking on you. Your partner could be having feelings of nostalgia concerning you. Your partner may want to reunite with you. Your partner could tell me that something from the past was brought back up here. Your partner could tell me that someone from the past is in the picture. Or this could involve children. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Six of Cups for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. And someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately. Rushing in with the spark of a new idea. Rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication. Exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me all they could think about is you. And they're wanting to reunite and come over and jump your bones. Uh-huh. Aries, your partner could tell me that you guys had a heated discussion or argument with a rushing and going off, going ham passionately with, what one, uh, with one another, okay? Your partner could tell me that something from the past was brought back up to cause this argument. Or someone is out being a player with someone from their past. Or it could have been something that happened in the past that is being brought back up in the present that is causing an argument, okay? Someone being a player. Clarify the Knight of Wands. For Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Eight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This can indicate that things are happening quickly. This can speak to travel. But this is the fast, rapid moving energy of communicating back and forth over the airwaves, the internet, with text messages, messenger, WhatsApp, emails, phone calls, even face to face communication. But this is also the fast, rapid moving energy of being intimate. So, Aries, listen. 
We could be having this heated discussion or argument, throwing fiery dots at one another with this rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument over something that happened in the past over children. You can tell me that, yes, someone was out being a player, getting cookies somewhere, communicating passionately online with someone else or being intimate with someone else. It could have been something that happened in the past that is being brought back up, that is causing an argument. However, it could be the reason why we're in each other's past is because this happened, okay? Could also be that someone from the past is in the picture and this communicating passionately and having this, this, this uh, player energy is why it's here, okay? Hey, but Aries, it could also be that we're making our way back to one another. Okay, maybe we're communicating passion online with one another and wanting to come over and get this party started right and reunite here. Oh God, Aries, <laughs> your partner has the nine of cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is wish fulfillment, but this can also speak to your partner feeling smug or overindulging in alcohol or substance abuse. So Aries, listen, either your partner's getting their wish here, you know, and I hope that they are, or they're feeling smug because maybe we're having this argument here. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the nine of cups for Aries partner it is clarified with the three of wands at last my love has come along and clovers something about clovers and life is but a dream ooh, 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 at last <laughs> Three of Wands, Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner waiting, waiting for their ships to come in, waiting for what they set their intentions towards to manifest. Now, this is also a card of your partner looking to see what else is out there, looking to expand. So, Aries, I hope that it's at last your partner is getting their wish here, that their ships are here. You have come in on the ship, and we can get this party started right reuniting here, okay? However, your partner could be feeling smug because they're looking to see what else is out there. I don't know if they're getting with someone from their past. Aries. Your partner has the high reference. Could be dealing with a Taurus. But the Hierophant speaks to the leader of a religious organization, the leader of a metaphysical organization. This is a clergyman, a pastor, a preacher, a teacher, a coach, a mentor, a counselor, someone of wise counsel. This is the institution of higher learning. This is a corporate institution. This is the marriage card. So Aries could be dealing with a Taurus. You know, someone may have commitment on the brain. You guys may already have commitment. This can be about forgiveness and reuniting here. This can be dealing with an institution, organization, governmental agency, or religious differences or values. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. Clarify the Hierophant for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Four of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. There is an offer on the table that your partner is not accepting or rejecting. They're contemplating this offer, but actually they're bored with the offer, thinking of missing the offer. But this is also a card of your partner contemplating sending a offer, but they fear that the offer will be rejected. So Aries, either your partner is rejecting, maybe you're coming back in the picture wanting to come over, or your partner is contemplating forgiveness here, but they fear you won't accept the offer, okay? Things could have got a little lit with you guys. Aries, your partner has the two of wands. Aries, Leo or Sag, this is your partner being at a crossroads, needing to pick a path between two. Should I, shouldn't I, will I, won't I, I don't know. So Aries, your partner is at a place where they're trying to decide, trying to pick a path. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the two of wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the five of pentacles. 
Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner feeling neglected, abandoned, excluded, left out in the cold. This can speak to financial lack and poverty consciousness. This could be a breakup. So Aries, listen, I feel like, yes, you guys may have broken up, but I feel like your partner's at a place where they're saying, you know, where should I go from here? Should I just break up with Aries completely or should I come back in and ask for forgiveness and a second chance? I just fear that Aries won't accept my offer. For some of you guys, this is an argument maybe over children and maybe some type of support. Something finally does come into your partner. But I don't know if it's from you financially anyway, okay? Aries, your partner has the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the Apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aries, listen, <clears throat> you know, someone could have commitment on the brain here. You know, it very well could be some type of family dynamics going on here. Children may be involved. It could have been some type of argument, what have you. Aries, you guys could have had this commitment, marriage, living together situation, family dynamics going on. But in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to this. Clarify the ten of cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the ten of cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the ten of cups for Aries partner it is clarified with the king of pentacles taurus virgo capricorn this king is usually stable rooted grounded traditional believes in the institution of marriage and family someone who is good with managing finances and material resources this could be a business owner ceo independent contractor manager could be dealing with this taurus virgo capricorn or someone with earth prominent in their chart However, when we're dealing with the King of Pentacles, the King of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse or someone has commitment on the brain. King of Pentacles is a nurturing father figure. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with. Or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the King of Pentacles for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Three of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is heartbreak. This is pain. This is suffering. This is agony caused by a third party situation. So when I say third party, yes, a romantic third party. But this could also be meddling family members, friends, co-workers, neighbors, anyone being involved in you guys' relationship that shouldn't be, that is causing your partner heartbreak. So Aries, listen. There could have been an argument because this person wanted commitment and there was some type of rejection coming from you. They could be hurt because you guys didn't go into a commitment. Aries, there could be some type of family dynamics involving children that is leaving this person hurt. You know, it could be an argument over money and financial lack and your partner is wishing and waiting on something to come into them here. Aries, your partner could tell me that there was a family dynamic created and now children are involved with a third party here. You're going to have to tell me, Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of November the 28th through December the 4th, 2021. You guys give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment, and share, and I'll see you guys next week.